All right, what is going on? So I recently put up a Instagram post with uh, uh, asking people what were their fitness questions. And one common question I got was, um, Gregory, I'm gaining strength, my strength's going up, my lifts are going up, but I'm not gaining the muscle size that I want to see. Because I actually talk a lot about if you want to get bigger, you must increase strength. If you get stronger, you're gonna grow. But there are some caveats we're gonna address in this simple little video. Now, I wanna make a quick little note. We just opened up our pre-orders for our Kino clothing line a few days ago, and all of the manufacturing that we were producing got completely sold out of the Raglan bamboo t-shirt, the long sleeve pocket t-shirt, um, and even the tank top. So it sold out really fast. So we just increased our production run, and we're gonna opening up, we're opening up pre-orders pre -orders again just for a few days. And then we're going to produce that and close the doors until it's finished. So if you want to get some of the really nice um, fitted bamboo clothing, uh, t-shirts, long sleeve, tank tops, it's really amazing. Um, I'm wearing it right now. It's super, super comfortable and it really enhances your physique. Then you can hit the link. I'll put the link in the description or somewhere here. Um, but now let's get down to brass tacks. So here's the thing. Now, first order of business, if you're not already at a solid level of strength, then a lot of the strength you get, that you gain, um, isn't actually from increasing muscle size, it's actually from improving your nervous system function, your um, neuromuscular coordination, your ability to control the weights and to fire your muscle fibers. And so you need to get to a certain level before the strength gain is really correlated with muscle growth. So if you're just bench pressing like 135 and you add 20 pounds, you might not see much in the way of muscle growth because you're actually improving your body's ability to control the weight, to fire your muscles. And then once you get proficient on the lifts for after a few months, then you tend to see more muscle growth. So a lot of times people lift weights and they don't see crazy results in the beginning um, until a little bit later, especially with you know free weights like dumbbells and barbells. You have to get um, used to the exercises. Now, that brings me to the second point and Muscle growth is actually kind of slow. So it takes a long time to build muscle. As far as the research for natural lifters, two pounds of muscle per month is pretty damn good. So you're not gonna expect, you're not gonna expect to see crazy muscle growth. So give it time, be more patient. It takes time for that muscle growth to increase. So don't expect to gain five pounds in a month. You gotta be diligent. If you're not consistent, if you're not super consistent for six months on end, if you're taking hitting the gym for a few weeks, taking a week off, this and that, that pish posh, it's not gonna cut it. So you have to be really consistent and don't expect to gain 10 pounds in a month. It takes time. If you wanna gain 10 pounds of muscle, it's gonna take six months. Six months of really consistent um, work. Now, the third point I wanna address is that it's important that you're eating enough calories and protein. If your calories and protein aren't sufficient, you're not gonna experience the muscle growth that you want. You might actually, some people are actually good at gaining strength without having sufficient calories and so they're improving their body's ability to fire their, their, their muscle fibers, their CNS activation, um, and so they're improving that but the muscle growth doesn't increase as fast as it should. So it's important that you eat enough. In my Greek God muscle building program, I talk about how to nail that perfect surplus. You can support the maximum amount of muscle growth without the fat gain. So one mistake I see people make is they they try they they're try they try and be way too clean. So they just eat like chicken breast, broccoli, this and that. They have their carbs low and they don't get enough calories. Especially if you're fasting, you need to eat quite a bit of food. Hit your potatoes. Hit some tacos. Throw in you know some English muffins. Get the protein and the carbs in because that's what's really going to fuel uh, muscle growth. So make sure you're eating enough, but not too much. So there's a really nice sweet spot. If you go under it, muscle growth is going to be stalled. And if you go over it, you're going to see fat gain, but you have to nail that sweet little sweet spot. So if you average around 16 calories per pound of body weight, that's typically where you want to be unless you're just crazy active, working construction, playing lots of sports, but you want to really nail that calorie level. Um, and then this brings me to um, the next point, which is uh, really important, and that is you need to hit a certain rep range, a certain threshold of rep ranges. So if you are just doing like heavy, you know, one rep max, two, three, four, if you're in that one to five rep range, you're not actually stimulating much muscle growth. You're just improving your nervous system functioning. So you're not gonna experience the best muscle growth in that one to five rep range. So that's a mistake people make. They kind of stay around, you know, three to five reps as they build their strength and muscle growth is a lot less than it could be. So with my programs and with what, with what I teach, 
I like to kind of hit that four to 12 rep range and then you're really getting sufficient volume. And I like to take long rest periods. In fact, longer rest periods have been associated with better strength gains and better long-term muscle growth. So I actually take long rest periods. I push for PRs, but I keep the reps a bit higher. So I'll hit my first set heavy four to six reps, a set for six to eight and an eight to 10. And I'm hitting that full spectrum. And that's where mus most of muscle growth happens um, for natural lifters. It's that kind of like that five to 10, five to 12 rep range with longer rest periods focusing on getting stronger. So some people don't do that. Some people keep the reps too low and muscle growth isn't as high as it could be. So if you're doing like, you know, three, four rep chin-ups weighted, you're not gonna see the best results. I find really that six to eight rep range is pretty damn optimal. So if you wanna try reverse pyramid training, maybe even experiment with doing six to eight reps for your first set and then eight to 10 for your second, going lighter, and then finish off with, you know, eight to 12. Um, and you're experiencing much more muscle growth there. Um, and the other point I want to talk about is if you're going to experience, if you want to maximize muscle growth with your strength gains, you need to push close to failure. So if you're lifting and you have like three reps left, if you're doing five reps, you can do like, you know, seven, eight reps, you're not going to experience as much muscle growth because you're not pushing the envelope. You're kind of, you're keeping some of the tanks. So you're improving your body's ability to be proficient at lifting, you know, find the nervous system, but you're not getting close to really where a lot of that muscle growth happens, which is like those last couple really tough reps. So you need to be kind of pushing yourself to the point where you pretty much can't do another rep. So you finish that last rep and you're good, or maybe you have one rep left and you're stopping it there. But that's really where you're gonna experience pretty damn good um, muscle growth. Now that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, if you follow those, you know, whatever, four or five tips it was, you're gonna start to experience much faster muscle growth. Um, the other thing is like, you know, you know, really optimizing that volume. So you're, you know, you know, you're training not too much so you, you can have maintain high intensity and, you know, and solid recovery for strength gains, but you're not training too little. So what this really comes down to is pretty much um, three workouts a week, you know, five exercises, four to five exercises per workout, three sets per exercise. And, uh, and then some muscle groups you want to focus more on, you might hit that twice a week. So. If your chest is stubborn, you might have like a big upper body workout on Monday um, with some nice intense like incline bench, flat bench, and then um, with you know maybe some, some arms. And then on the Friday, you might focus more on shoulders and back, but you might throw in another chest exercise just there. I find it's really helpful. Whatever stubborn muscle groups you have, try and hit that twice a week. Um, and you can do that with three workouts a week, which is what I do. Actually, I'm doing two workouts a week right now. I digress though. But I tend to like, I like to hit my um, shoulders and biceps twice a week, um, basically. I find the, those are like really key muscle groups that can take more time. I find my chest grows well if I just hit it really hard once a week. And then the other, the other day, I'm getting some shoulder pressing, which is indirectly hitting the chest. So it all kind of works together. Um, but pretty much, that's all you need to know. If you're not, if you're not gaining muscle um, uh, as you're gaining strength, then follow these tips. It might take a bit longer. You know, muscle growth is slow again. so. You want to really uh, be patient and you'll start to see really good results. I mean, if you're getting to, you know, if you're hitting some good lifts in the six to eight rep range, if you're doing, you know, 80 pound chin ups for six reps, the muscle's going to be coming. If you're hitting like, you know, 100 pound incline dumbbell presses for uh, eight reps, man, the muscle's growing. So keep those reps kind of in that sweet spot of six to 10 reps. Get stronger, take long rest periods, um, be patient, eat enough food, enough calories. And you're going to see um, really good results. And yes, you have to push past that beginner intermediate stage where, the, where you're going to really see like uh, uh, more, the, all the strength gains going to be much more correlated to muscle growth and neural adaptation. So that's all I want to say. I hope you guys found this pretty helpful. Um, and if you want to check out the clothing line, which is, should be available if you've watched this video um, kind of in the, within the few days that I posted it, then you can hit the link below for the pre-orders. We're going to have them shipped out um, basically within four weeks for you. Uh, stuff's game changer and our price points are really competitive, so very affordable stuff. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button. Smash the like button. And secondly, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We have lots of amazing new stuff coming out. And if you wanna learn my system for transforming your body, then I need to find out what is your physique type. So I made the physique quiz to find out what is your body type and how do we take you from point A to point B, that lean, chiseled Hollywood physique. So hit the link somewhere around here and I will talk to you soon. Take care.